Hi, my name is Valentine Goddard. I am the founder of AI Impact Alliance. So the question I'm going to ask today is, can art and how it's curated save us from AI's problem? When we use art to explore the ethics of AI and the governance of artificial intelligence, are there certain guidelines that we should put in place to avoid art washing, ethics washing? Um, these are the kind of guidelines that you can put in place to make sure that it stays engaged and purpose oriented and uh, aware of the political context if that's being used in. Um, so it's useful for funding governance engagement mechanisms as well. Uh, these guidelines uh, are strategies that aim to prevent the risks of generative AI, protect democratic processes in regulatory innovation, and safeguard the very important independent political space that art occupies. Art acknowledges the political dimensions of AI, that it contributes to the co-creation of responsible and equitable and sustainable AI and data governance. Quick quote on that from Jason uh, Lewis and other authors of the Indigenous um, Protocol Position Paper. Um, all technical systems are cultural and social systems. Every piece of technology is an expression of cultural and social frameworks for understanding and engaging with the world. AI systems designers must be aware of their own cultural frameworks, socially dominant concepts and normative ideals. Be aware of the biases that arise from them. Scenarios that foster a sense of agency, avoid dystopia, fear, panic. And I would say in this age of polarization, avoid being a yay or nay AI, uh, having that kind of approach in, in, in the project. The First one, we learn better together. Research shows um, that in uh, immersive projects, interactive projects, when uh, people are together, um, they will learn more from that experience. Inclusion is concrete. So if you're talking about inclusion in your project, you want to say we want to improve inclusion, we want to be, we have, this is part of our DEI principles. Inclusion must be concrete. It must be a real added value in the design of the art project that is exploring AI ethics. And we need to have eyes wide open on who is leading and benefiting from a project. Number five, make it public, make it everywhere, make it outside of regular standard art reserved spaces. Number six, we're almost there, are projects that recognize the plurality of knowledge sources and co-construction and shared learning processes. If we're, we're exploring AI ethics and AI governance and AI policy questions that result in policy recommendations, that art, that generative art, must value concrete goals and objectives and express desired outcomes. And that focus must be on reconciliation with Indigenous peoples, on human rights, and uh, sustainable development goals. I'd also add in the age of generative AI, that is really important maybe to remember another international agreement that was signed by a number of countries um, that reinforces the importance of economic, social, and cultural rights. Um, number eight, um, it's last but not the least extremely important. Um, the policies around those projects must respect intellectual property of artists, including the cultural intellectual property, um, which is a notion that is referred to at the Canada Art Council, and uh, they impose the respect of cultural intellectual property, uh, which refers to in Indigenous um, heritage.